<clears throat> Hello. I am doing my review of the Lipan TC970 tablet PC. Um, <clears throat> as you can predict, my this was my Christmas present. My first impressions of it are very nice. It, it's a solid feeling tablet. It's very thin. It's pretty lightweight. It's not very heavy. It's kind of kind of heavy. It feels very solid. It feels very solid to hold. Um, the hardware specifications on it are really good for the price. $200 approximately on Newegg.com gets you this really solid tablet. It's got a front-facing webcam. It's got 1 gigahertz processor and a half a gig of RAM. It runs Android 2.2 version 2.2 which is kind of dumb that's the only thing that I wish would there would be an update for it I haven't contacted Le Pen about an update <coughs> but I hope they release one if they haven't I hope somebody's gonna write a clockwork mod recovery for it so I can install a different ROM hopefully of Android 3.0, Honeycomb, or whatever. Um, anyway, the reason I don't like Android 2.2 is because it's basically a giant blown up version of the cell phone equivalent. Um, it looks pretty much like my Samsung cell phone, but on this giant, wonderful, beautiful display. The display overall is great. It has pretty nice viewing angles from all sides the touchscreen is very responsive I love it um, zooming in and out they're very fast very quick there's no lag pretty much um, until you start like in, until you install like a custom theme but I'll get into that later um, the software, the custom, or the original software, I've already installed a million apps. The original software is pretty quick. I don't like the looks of it at all. So I changed it to a different one. Um, what you can do is install any <coughs> theme installer like Launcher Pro or, um, what's that other one called? I'm using the name that I forgot. Okay, I'm using ADW Launcher EX. It's very good. It's very fast. Launcher Pro is pretty good too. I also have that installed on here. Um, it doesn't feature as much customizability. You can't customize as much. Um, so that's the default launcher. Um, launcher Pro looks like this. Now Launcher Pro is very fast on this, but there's not much customizing to it, but you won't experience any lag with Launcher Pro. Um, the one I'm using now is ADW. This is a very beautiful custom themes I've installed on here. I have my app drawer right there. I'm going to set that to default now because I don't want to change back to the old one. Um, overall, the hardware is very snappy. The software is also equally as snappy. Wi-Fi, I haven't had any problems with the Wi-Fi. Um, I've been consistently co connected to my wireless access point for since yesterday, and I have... I've had to restart it, reset it a couple of times because it just hanged and it didn't load the web page or whatever. That's to be expected with Android. I have to do that with my phone as well because it's just what ha what has to be done. Um, yeah, that's basically it. The webcam, the front-facing camera. See, it doesn't have on here on the back no back facing camera so if you want to take pictures of somebody you're probably going to be in the picture yeah I guess that's okay however your front facing webcam 
is pretty decent. I mean, it's not fantastic. Here's me. Hi. Um, I'll, I put some pictures up on my review of this for my previous post, and it basically all I can say is it's decent. It works. The camcorder... I mean, it, it would be fine for Skyping. As far as I know, Skype is not compatible with this device. But, if you Google it, there's people that have already made a modification to the installation of Skype. And then you can just install that modified version of Skype and it should work. Um, the only con I would say with this... By the way, the battery life is excellent. I've... I charged it overnight tonight. Took it off charge probably 10 o'clock this morning. You see it's 4.52 and it's still on 86%. I haven't been using it consistently since 10 o'clock, but I've had it on and off, the screen on and off or whatever, but it's been staying on during the whole time. And the battery's still 86%. It's amazing. I love it. Um, I carry it everywhere now. The But the only con... With this, I don't know if you can see it, but this thing gets fingerprints and smudges all over it. You can see it a little bit um, here on the back. You can't really see it on the back. Um, I'm planning on buying a screen protector and putting it on here to get the anti-fingerprint uh, protector or whatever on here because I hate fingerprints. Oh, there we go. That's a lot of fingerprints. Right there, yeah. Um, what I've been doing now is I have this wonderful glasses cleaner, eyeglasses cleaner from my where I, play, where I buy my glasses. Just do a couple sprays on there. Cleans the fingerprints right off. Smells pretty good too. Kind of difficult doing this with one hand. Okay. And there you have it. Spotless display for the most part. Um, video playback on the website it says it consists of nine hours of video playback. I the only video playback I've been using is. See if I can find it here. No, not super user. I attempted to root it, but it didn't stick. I'll be working on that later. Um, let's see. I just installed this app, and it's not showing up here. So let's find it. Let's see why it's not showing up. Um, Revision 3, go over there and check them out, they're really good, uh, technology news and whatever, a lot of shows and whatever. I don't know why. I'll figure this out sooner or later. It's saying it's installed, but the icon doesn't want to pop up. Okay, well, I'll just open it like this. I was watching Dignation, which I love the show. I'll just show you. Video playback is wonderful. Even with over streaming over the internet, I still get I can still uh, watch shows in full HD. Um, this screen is a four to three aspect ratio. You can, I mean, that's the same aspect ratio as. Um, <coughs> The older TVs, your tube TVs, or whatever. And you may think, oh, that's stupid. It's 4 by 3 But this is, like, the perfect size. I love this. It's the perfect size screen, and the whole 4 by 3 ratio makes it very comfortable. Very comfortable viewing. Uh, the only thing I can say that's potentially bad is your arms get kind of tired if you're sitting, like, laying back in a chair holding it up above you. Your arms get pretty tired. But setting it like I'm doing now is just wonderful. 
Um, I can play this in HD. Um, please don't get mad at me, Techzilla, for featuring your video. <laughs> the speakers are insanely loud. Okay, what happened? On, I locked it. Okay, well, regardless. I locked it. Well, that was smart. Regardless, this thing is dang loud. Louder. I have a 42 inch TV, and the 42 inch TV isn't this loud with the built in speakers. Um, on the back, let me go ahead and lock this so I don't open up anything else. On the back, um, the speakers are right there. The little chrome openings. They have a nice little chrome grill, you might say, right there and right there. There are two, so if you were holding it in portrait mode, you'd get true stereo. Um, Landscape mode. Yeah. I don't care, really. Some tablets have it set up where it's one right here, one right here, and another one right here. So if you're holding it this way, it switches to the two on top to give you stereo. But I don't have a preference. I haven't noticed any difference in way of holding it and sound. I don't care. But if that's something that bothers you, you may want to consider a different tablet, maybe, possibly, I don't know. I don't think it's worth considering a different tablet. Overall, this is by far the best tablet you can get for the price. It's wonderful. Okay, thank you.